Hello, I'm going to go over installment notes with you, how to calculate the installment, and then how do you record the journal entries, and then how does the installment note have an impact on the financial statements. An installment note, a promissory note with a, a series of equal payments over time, that's basically what an installment note is. Each payment consists of principal and interest. Principal is the amount that is borrowed. Interest is what lender is charging us for use of their principal. Calculating the payment. Basically what you're doing here is you're solving for the future value of an annuity. A note in the amount of 100000 was issued with annual payments for the next three years. The market rate of the note was 5%. The note was issued on June 1st, 2010. So what we need to calculate is the payment. So right now we're borrowing 100000 The interest rate is 5%. It's compounding annually, so our CY is 1. Our total N is 3. The future value of an installment note will always be zero. So remember the carrying value of the note starts off at 100000 and as we make payments, the carrying value will eventually work its way down to zero. And now we're solving for the payment. So the payment in this example comes out to $36,721. So now we're going to fill out our roadmap. The carrying value of the note on date of issuance is $100,000. The payment, we plug in our payment, and there's our payment of $36,721 that we calculated on the prior slide. To get interest expense, you're using the interest formula, principal times rate times time. So 100,000 times the 5% rate times time, you get an interest expense of $5,000 on the first payment. So when you take the $5,000 in interest expense off of the $36,721 payment, you're going to have um, the remainder of the payment is going to go towards the principal on the note. So there's your $31,721. Your new carrying value now is going to be $68,279. We take the carrying value of 100 minus the principal adjustment here, and that's how you get the 68279 Once again, we're making our payment of 36721 So now you notice that our carrying value dropped to $68,279, and we have an interest expense of 3414 Notice now more of the payment is going to go towards principal and less is going towards interest. The reason is that your carrying value is slowly decreasing. So now we have a carrying value of $34,972. There's your final payments in the third year. Notice the interest expense is really small at this point. There's your principal payment, and then the carrying value works its way down to zero. So now that you have the roadmap, you're going to create your journal entries. So the first entry we're going to have is the issuance of the note. So the, the company is receiving $100,000 in cash, and they're creating a liability of $100,000. Then on 12-31-10, we have, to, we have accrued interest on the note. So it's important we pay attention to the dates. So June, um, from June to December, we, are, we have seven months. And so we're using up seven twelves of the interest expense that we calculated for the first year. So 7 twelfths of 5000 comes out to $2,917, and that's going to be your interest expense, and then you're going to create the payable for interest payable. So now when we go to do the balance sheet, the balance sheet here for 2010, we're going to break off um, the interest payable is going to become a current liability, so that $2,917 is a current liability, and then in the upcoming year, we're going to be paying off $31,721 of the note. So whatever is current in the upcoming year is going to go into the current liability section. And then the remaining um, va carrying value of the note is going to go into the long-term liability. So that $68,279 is going to be paid beyond the upcoming year. So that goes under the long-term portion on the balance sheet. So we're going to march on here. There's um, 1231. Um, and so now on 6111, we're actually making our payment. 
So as we did with basic journal entries, always start with what you know. You're, you're writing a check for $36,721. That's your credit. Then you're paying off um, the interest payable from the adjusting entry, the $2,917. And then the remaining um, interest expense on the $5,000 at five twelfths comes out to $2,083. And then there's the principal that you're paying on the on the on the June first payment, the thirty one thousand seven twenty one, lowering the payable account. So now we go to our adjusting entry, and we do the same sequence we did before. This time, though, we're focusing in on this number, this is interest expense. We're using up seven twelves, and there's the adjusting entry for twelve thirty one eleven. Now, when we look at the balance sheet at this point. We have the, there's the adjusting entry, the payable. Notice that the bank no payable, the carrying value. Um, at this point, we have $33,307 in the upcoming year, and now $34,000 is going into the long-term liability portion. So that's basically how you look at an installment note. How do you calculate the payment? How do you create your roadmap? How do you record your journal entries? And then... Basically, how does the note impact the financial statements? And here's the remainder of 12. So on, on June 1st, there's the payment once again of 36. Notice the payment doesn't change. There's the liability. There's the payable. And then there's 5 twelfths of the 3414. And then we keep going on with the interest expense and interest payable for the adjusting entry. And now this is where when we get to maturity year, so when the note matures, that means when the, when the note is off our financial statements, you notice that we transferred the full 34,972. There's nothing in the year um, going into maturity. There's nothing in the long-term section. Everything is in the current liability portion, and then there's your interest payable. So basically, that's a wrap on installment notes. Please watch the video and practice your problems.